After a half decade long pause, construction on the world's tallest building has officially resumed in Saudi Arabia. Beating the UAE's Burj Khalifa by about 172 meters, the Jeddah Tower will be over 1,000 meters in height. Currently, the building stands upon finished foundations and pilings, but is only one-third complete. Once finished, renderings reveal the tower will taper towards the top and boast a glassy facade. Although ground was broken for this giant building back in 2013, the endeavor has been repeatedly delayed in the decades since. But many were surprised when at the end of September 2023, news broke out that the construction has resumed. Join us today as we delve into the backstory of Jeddah Tower and explore the significance of this monumental undertaking. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The journey of Jeddah Tower began a decade ago when construction first commenced, but as time passed, the project encountered numerous difficulties, resulting in a temporary pause. Despite these setbacks, the vision for Jeddah Tower remains resolute, with the goal of surpassing the current record holder, the Burj Khalifa Tower in Dubai. Emerging from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia's most progressive city on the west coast of the kingdom, this remarkable architectural achievement is poised to shatter records and reshape our perception of skyscrapers. Formerly known as the Kingdom Tower, this massive structure is sponsored by Prince Al Walid bin Talal, one of the wealthiest figures in the Middle East, and designed by none other than Adrian Smith, also renowned for his work on Dubai's Burj Khalifa. With a planned height exceeding one kilometer, Jeddah Tower will not only comfortably outstrip China's Shanghai Tower but also Dubai's Burj Khalifa, which currently stands at a record 828 meters. To revive this monumental project, various prominent companies have been approached, generating significant interest in the business world. Among the notable names making headlines are Skanska, a Swedish construction firm, and Samsung's Korean engineering and construction subsidiary. Even if the work resumes, completing the Jeddah Tower remains a formidable challenge, primarily due to the unprecedented achievement of surpassing the symbolic one-kilometer mark in the history of construction. When we delve into the story of this high-rise building, caught between its aspirations and the practicalities of construction, we come across a myriad of technical hurdles. Chief among these obstacles is the imperative to guarantee the structural integrity. As a skyscraper ascends in height, it becomes increasingly susceptible to the powerful forces of wind and the tremendous pressure exerted by the building's own weight on its foundation. In addressing these challenges, the architectural team led by Adrian Smith crafted a novel strategy, a Y-shaped design reminiscent of a tripod. This innovative configuration optimizes stability while reducing the amount of materials needed. Moreover, ensuring a strong connection of the tower to the ground requires stable rock bases, which are of particular importance in Jeddah, given the predominant presence of fragile limestone, sand, and gravel in the soil. Extensive geological studies were imperative to determine the appropriate depth for securely anchoring the tower. This, in turn, led to the utilization of a complex and previously untried drilling technique. By way of comparison, the foundations of renowned structures like the Empire State Building reach depths of 17 meters, while specific areas of the Burj Khalifa's foundations extend to 50 meters, highlighting the doubly profound nature of the Jeddah Tower's foundation efforts. The initial phase of the project initiated in June 2013 engaged a workforce of over 100 individuals operating in shifts 24 hours a day six days a week for a continuous six-month period. This monumental effort underscores the commitment to bringing the Jeddah Tower to life, yet structural stability is only one piece of the puzzle. Another critical aspect is the selection of materials. Striking a balance between solidity and economic viability is crucial. In the case of the Jeddah Tower, the client insisted on the use of traditional materials such as conventional concrete due to its cost, effectiveness, and the ease of application compared to high-performance concrete which requires specialized labor. 
Despite this, the challenges associated with delivering concrete to such towering heights present a significant concern. The most advanced pumps available in the market can operate at pressures of up to 250 bars and can effectively transport concrete to heights of around 500 meters. Beyond this point, the process becomes notably more complex. This is why many super tall skyscrapers, including the Jetta Tower, opt for upper sections constructed from steel. This strategic choice serves a dual purpose by reducing the load on the concrete and streamlining the construction process. The steel upper section of the tower is not intended for residential use but rather as an enormous 350 meter long ornamental spire. The Jetta Tower is not just about setting records, it stands as a symbol of Saudi Arabia's ambition and its Vision 2030 plan. It serves as a transformative force for the entire region. This remarkable architectural achievement signifies Saudi Arabia's dedication to diversifying its economy and reducing reliance on oil, embracing a future defined by innovation and progress. To put the sheer magnitude of this project in context, it is estimated that nearly half a million cubic meters of concrete and almost 880,000 tons of steel will be needed for its completion. This is equivalent to the weight of 10 Eiffel Towers, underscoring the monumental scale of this construction endeavor. Moreover, the Jetta Tower faces another significant challenge in the form of wind resistance. As the tower's height increases, so does its vulnerability to the effects of wind. To illustrate this, a skyscraper that's 500 meters tall must be 60 times more wind resistant than one that's only 60 meters tall. To ensure both the tower's stability and the comfort of those inside it, architects and engineers have conducted thorough computer simulations to model the impact of wind forces. These simulations have revealed that during strong winds, the top of the tower could sway by up to 2 meters in relation to its central axis. Remarkably, this level of movement is considered acceptable in terms of the tower's structural integrity and the well-being of its occupants. In addition to the technical considerations, the Jetta Tower places a strong emphasis on energy efficiency, a crucial factor given the scorching climate of Saudi Arabia. Reducing reliance on air conditioning is of paramount importance. To accomplish this, the tower's design is intricate, with a focus on natural methods for temperature regulation. Meticulous planning ensures that shadows provide shelter from the intense sun, while the external glass walls are engineered to provide superior insulation. They use low emissivity glass coated with a filter that effectively blocks infrared radiation. Inside the tower, a comprehensive network of 57 elevators has been designed for the swift and efficient movement of people. These elevators employ advanced carbon fiber cables chosen for their outstanding strength and durability, enabling smooth operation even at significant heights. Each elevator can accommodate 26 people, equivalent to a two-ton load, thanks to the reduced weight of the carbon fiber cables. The construction of the Jetta Tower represents an extraordinary achievement not only in terms of engineering and design, but also in its financial magnitude. Take for instance, the Burj Khalifa, which demanded an astonishing investment exceeding $1.5 billion involving 22 million man-hours and a workforce that peaked at 7,500 individuals. The building's power consumption alone is comparable to that of a city inhabited by 880,000 people, despite its maximum occupancy being 35,000. Cleaning the extensive glass facades of such towering structures is no less impressive, requiring approximately four months to complete. These statistics vividly illustrate the monumental effort and resources necessary for skyscrapers of this scale. Initially, it was estimated that the construction of Jetta Tower will cost around $1.2 billion, but this amount is highly likely to increase, given that the project was halted for several years. A question that often arises is, beyond its symbolic importance for Saudi Arabia, what significance does the Jetta Tower hold for architecture and engineering on a global scale? The answer lies in its embodiment of our unwavering human drive to reach new heights, both literally and metaphorically. 
Since its inception, every phase of the Jetta Tower's construction has been marked by challenges that have been met with human ingenuity. It stands as irrefutable evidence that our ambitions are constrained only by the limits we impose on ourselves. While you're watching this video, the tower is still under construction, and each passing day brings us closer to witnessing the realization of this symbol of ambition. This development promises to not only reshape the skyline, but also serve as an inspiration for future generations. We eagerly anticipate its completion and the way it will redefine our understanding of what is achievable in the fields of architecture and engineering. As we do so, we keep our gaze fixed on the horizon, as no one can predict where the next record-breaking structure may emerge. We are interested to hear your thoughts on the Jetta Tower project. Leave your opinions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.